my hand like a gentleman and he starts to walk me across the street not looking at all this man was looking at me he grabbed my hand and he just started to walk cars coming in both directions this man was about to lead me into traffic. So after two days of not hearing from him, he sent me a message out of nowhere saying, you pissed me off wasting my money like that. And I'm like, what a fucking psycho. I'm like, look, man, what's I your can make jokes? But he started to keep sending me pictures of um some girl. He would be taking a picture of himself and some chick he was with and she would be half naked or he would just send me pictures of her half naked. It's like, why are you sending me this? Hi, I'm Nettie. Nettie, that's me, and I'm back for another video. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like. All right, so your girl is back. Was I missed or no? Y'all probably forgot all about me. It's good, though. It's good. Don't even worry about it. But, so I'm back for three new <laughs> stories. The first one is going to be about... The time this guy I was talking to tried to walk me into traffic. And the second one is a guy who got mad because I declined his threesome offer. And the last one is the guy who got mad that I didn't eat all my food on a date. And he let me know about it saying, uh, you really pissed me off wasting my money like that. So let's get it started with the first guy. So I told you guys about this guy. This guy I talked to last year, like February 2020. He was from Ghana. And um, I did a video about how uh, he sure did have his liquor license. He sure did. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to check it out. But yes, Mr. Ghana sure did have his uh, liquor license. Anyway, so we met on POF and he was sending me messages. Um, I was just on there kind of just bullshit and looking around, but I wasn't really taking it serious. But he would just, he would keep coming back, sending me messages, little poetry that I know he's probably copying and pasting and sending it to other ladies. Um, and then I was just off work one day. I actually just moved into a place I am now, like maybe two weeks ago at this time. And so I was off work. He sent me a message, I wasn't doing anything. So I finally responded. And we were talking and joking around and he was like, uh, well, let's, let's go have lunch. And I was like, okay. So he, we met up at this like Chinese buffet type place. He said he goes there all the time after uh, church on Sunday. Um, and his church friends and church group, they go there. So we went and it was him. He was a really nice guy. We'll just call him Ghana. That's his name, Ghana. He was a really nice guy as far as what he was showing me, just really affectionate, attentive, really just focused on me. It was like I was just the only woman in the world. That's how he was treating me. Because when we were there, it's like he just took my hand and walked with me and guided me around and asked I need help with anything. And if we were, when we went to go sit down, it was just like, at first we were sitting across from each other, but then he asked if it was okay if he sits next to me. So he uh, walked over next to me and sat down and uh he was just right by me and he was just really lovey-dovey just looking at me talking to me just really focused on me taking pictures of us together and shit <laughs> like he was just really excited to be with me so he was just really giving that good attention like it was a nice little first date i couldn't really stay on the date long because i was telling him hey i just moved into my place so i have packages being delivered and i looked at my phone and it was like the Amazon delivery guy was like maybe two stops away. So I was like, I, I wanted to catch my package. And um, he was like, uh, well, I, I really still want to spend time with you. If it's okay, if I can come with you to wait for your package and then we can still keep hanging out. And I was like, okay. So uh, I allowed him to come with me to my home. Don't do that. It's stupid. I don't know this person. Don't let strangers know with you, where you live or anything like that but I did. He came with me to my home and um, I made a joke, but I was so serious about like when I first moved into a home, I get nervous about the energy that was left over from the previous people. Cause I don't know these people who knows what they were doing in here. And I told him there was like this crawl space, like a attic type crawl space that I was so nervous about. And I don't know what's up there. 
So he was my hero and he went up to the little crawl space and did a video and looked around, make sure everything was good and safe for me. <laughs> and then when my package came, he opened the door, like he was just a man of the house, like he lived there and he took the packages for me and we sit it down and we went our way. And um, when we left, uh, he just got in my car. He left his car in the parking lot where I live. And we went to the post office. I had to get some mail from my P.O. box. And we were going to the grocery store next. I needed a lamp. Like I said, I just moved here. So I need a lamp. I wanted to go to this, like Walmart and get like a lamp for the living room. So I drove and he sat in the passenger side. We got out the car. And as we we're walking, he looks over at me. And he grabs my hand like a gentleman and he starts to walk me across the street, not looking at all. This man was looking at me. He grabbed my hand and he just started to walk. Cars coming in both directions. This man was about to lead me into traffic. It's like, sir, what the hell? I can't even trust you to walk me across the street. You weren't even paying attention. So I had to protect us and look and be like, oh no, there, there's there's cars coming. And then he said, oh, and he backed up. I'm like, wow, Mr. Ghana. I mean, I know you're all focused on me, but you're about to walk us straight into traffic, sir. Because he legit was looking at me and he took my hand and he started to walk. And um, I had to stop him and say, oh, there's cars coming, there's cars coming. <laughs> and then we continued to walk inside Walmart. So I saw... Um, a lamp that I was interested in getting. And I just moved into this place, like I keep saying, I just moved there like two weeks, not even two weeks, probably like a week and a half. I, You would think he'd probably get like a nice little housewarming gift for me. I just moved in and I'm looking at the lamps and uh, he gets the cart and he pushes the cart behind me like he's my child. He basically just got the cart and pushes it. And I'm like, okay, I think I wanna get this one. And I picked it up and put it in the cart. And uh, we went back, we went to uh, pay for it at the self-checkout. I'm like, let me see if he's gonna like do something nice and pay for it. Cause I was taking my time getting my purse and everything together as I scanned it. And he was just standing there. He was just standing there looking around, looking around. I'm like, well, I guess I gotta pay for this myself. Okay, boop. And I went ahead and paid for it. And he got a couple of items that he needed while we were there. And after I paid for my stuff, he kept his shit in the cart. And he was just standing there like he's waiting for me to pay for his stuff too. Because he was just standing there. Just standing there. I'm like, uh, you want to get your stuff? He was like, oh yeah, yeah. As if he was waiting for me to pay for it. Like, what the hell is going on, sir? So uh, I got my lamp and everything. And we walked out. And he pushed the car. And he uh, put the lamp inside my trunk. And I drove him back to his home. Well, not his home. To my home where his car was. And um. We continued to hang out um, the next day, the day after that, and we talked. So we were consistently talking and hanging out, and um, I had fun. It was fun hanging out with him, and um, I explained I'm not really into clubs. Clubs aren't my thing anymore. I would say that over and over. I'm not into clubs. I'm not into clubs. I don't want to go to clubs. But for some reason, he would still say, let's go, which is odd. If I told you I'm not interested, why would you keep saying, let's go? But one thing I did tell him I wanted to do, I am, well, I used to be a really big fan of these guys called Impractical Jokers. Um, maybe you've heard of them. They're on like True TV. I would watch them religiously every day when I lived in Houston. Even when they came to Houston to do a show at the Bayou Music Center, I went to go see their show and I shook Joe's hand. I was so excited to see them. So I was a really big fan of these guys in Practical Jokers. They had a movie out in um, 2020. I wanted to go see that movie. I'm a big fan. So I would bring that up over and over and over. And then one day he was like, uh, you always bring that movie up, man. You, this is like your 17th time bringing that movie up. I'm bringing it up because I want to see it. I want you to take me to go see the movie. If I bring it up, instead of him saying, oh, okay, I heard her say over and over, she wants to go see that movie, let's go see it. No, he was like, oh, you always bring that movie up. This is like your 17th time bringing that movie up. He never took me to see the movie. 
I had to take myself to see the movie. I legit went to the movie theater by myself to see it. But then he knew I wanted to see it. He didn't take me. But he heard me say, I'm not into clubs. But he wanted to take me to the club, which makes no fucking sense. So um, I was starting to get a little bored with him. Because it's like, I just moved in here. You would think you would do something nice. Help me out with something. Help me decorate. Purchase something. But he wasn't really doing anything. We would just hang out and do shit that he wanted to do. But he would never like, it would never click in his head that, hey, she likes this. So let's do this. Or let me ask her what she needs for her home. So I was getting a little bored with him. And it felt like, eh, I don't really want to hang out with this guy anymore. I mean, the relations are fucking phenomenal. But other than that, he didn't have anything going on to make me want to keep seeing him. So one day, I, I mentioned something about it doesn't really seem like if I needed help with something, I could depend on you or you would help out with anything. And he was like, oh, well, what do you want me to do? You want me to buy you a TV or something? I was just annoyed with him. So after he said that, you know, yeah, buy me some shit. I need a TV. I bring up, I need stuff in my home. Help me. Even though he did, like, I brought, like, a dresser or something that I got from Amazon. He did put it together for me. I was like, thank you for putting it together. But help me purchase a housewarming gift, something. I just moved here. <laughs> but I was just bored with him, so I just didn't really want to talk to him. So after he was like, what, you want me to buy you a TV? Like, I was bugging him. I just blocked him. I didn't say anything. I didn't reply. I just blocked him. Moved on with my life, never heard from him again. So Mr. Ghana, he was just fun to hang out with for a little bit, just something to do. Amazing tongue skills. But other than that, I just, I didn't want to keep him around, especially after he tried to walk me into traffic. Like, sir, it's like you grabbed my hand and just started to blindly walk into traffic and I have to fucking figure out things. And protect us and watch out for us so anyway and um that's all for that story <laughs> i blocked him after he's like you want me to buy you a tv block i'm done man i'm busy if i'm doing shit by myself anyway it's like why the fuck are you here i don't need you sir i'm doing it by myself next story um this is about this guy that got mad that I declined his threesome. It actually happened back in Houston. I'll say 2018. I never met this guy. We don't even fucking know each other. We're strangers. We just saw each other on the internet. I was on this website that I mentioned to you guys before that I would do live streams. And then random strangers all over the world would come in and see you and talk to you. This guy just happened to be in the same city I was in, Houston. I guess he took a liking to me and wanted to see me and hang out. And it's like, I, I wasn't interested in him like that, but I didn't mind being friends. But for like a couple of weeks, we would just talk and laugh and make jokes. But he started to keep sending me pictures of um some girl. He would be taking a picture of himself and some chick he was with and she would be half naked or he would just send me pictures of her half naked. It's like, why are you sending me this? So after a few times of him sending me this, um, I was just like, can you stop sending me pictures of some random girl? He started to offend me. Cause like, what if I started sending you pictures of some half naked guy? Like it made no sense. Cause he would send me shit and say, um, oh, we both want you right now. We both want you tonight wanted me to join his threesome like sir i don't fucking know you why would i want to join a threesome with you and some random chick i don't even like girls so um for some reason he got offended that i didn't want to join the threesome and i said look can you stop sending me this stuff um i really don't like that and um you're offending me instead of him just being like sorry about that i didn't know i'll stop he got mad that i asked him to stop and said uh, what should offend you is the, um, your apartment should offend you uh, with no furniture. That's what he was saying because I had my laptop on the floor charging. So he thought since I had my laptop on the floor charging that I just had no furniture in my apartment. So he was like, what should offend you is your apartment with no furniture, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I'm just trying to show you a good time. Y'all hoes don't know a good time when y'all see one. Just straight up psycho. Block. But of course, you know, these cycles have multiple pages. You can't just block one. They have multiple. 
So the next day, uh, it's probably like early in the morning. I just happened to be up scrolling the web. He sent me a message. Damn, bitch, you don't got no life. You up here at 3 o'clock in the morning online? And then he blocked me. Stupid, ignorant ass shit. Like, bitch, we're both up at 3 in the morning online. But you sent me a message like, I'm, I have no life. Because I just happen to be up at the same time you're up on the same website you're on at the same time. So, block. Just people are fucktards. Just so angry and aggressive for nothing. It's like, I don't know you. We're strangers. I don't owe you anything. Why are you mad? So, so I was the last time I heard from him. After he talked shit and blocked me. And I made sure to block that second page of his. So this fucktard got mad. Even though we're strangers. I don't know him. He was upset that I didn't want to join his threesome. And um, the last guy, this happened about 2016. Houston again, <laughs> me and him actually met and we actually went out on a date. So um, we met online again, that same website I told you guys about. And um, it wasn't like a live stream. It's just like, he just happened to see a post I made and then he, friend request me and we were just cool and cordial and he asked me out and um we met at this restaurant and after I ordered my meal and sat down um the conversation was fine until I don't know how we got on his ex that's not really a good conversation to have on the first date. If you like someone and you want to get to know them. Or maybe it is. Shit, I don't know. Don't ask me. But it just seems like you want to get to know each other versus old baggage and stuff. You know, let's just let me know you. I want to know you. <laughs> but somehow we started to talk about his ex. And he started to kind of get teary-eyed. No tears fell, but I could see his eyes starting to get a little watery when he was talking about her. I guess she cheated on him. And um, he was telling me all the ins and outs of the relationship and that they're divorced and how he was trying to get her out of his house, blah, blah, blah. And then out of nowhere, the conversation turned sexual. That's just... Don't talk about sex on the first date. <laughs> Unless that's all it is. It's like, if it's just like, hey, look, I'm just looking for a fuck buddy. You with it? Okay. But if you genuinely are trying to get to know someone on a higher, deeper level, you probably shouldn't talk about sexual things. Just get to know that person for who they are. Sex will come later. But somehow, the conversation got on sex. And, um... He was, it was vulgar as fuck. You would think you were watching some type of porn documentary the way he was talking. And he was talking about these three sums he had and that, oh, it was just when he had the girl on top of her, on top of him, there was a guy behind her. And when he was in, the guy was in the butt and they could feel each other. It was just, he was going graphic. With the things he was saying. So I'm like, yeah, I probably won't talk to him anymore. <laughs> Why are we talking about this, sir? And um, some guy walked by. Like a couple of guys walked by. And one of the guys was like, oh, wee. And then he looked at me all mad. Like, just so you know, that was for you. I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, that guy, what he said. Just so you know, that was about you. He was looking at me all mad like, it was my fault the guy said, ooh, we. I don't control what somebody sees in life. So, I, <laughs> so he acted like he was upset with me because some guy walked by and said that. And it's like, uh, sir, go say something to him. Don't say it to me. I wasn't even paying attention. I heard the guy, but I, I had no idea he was saying anything about me. I just thought he was just making some noise. So um, after the date... I I didn't really think I was going to talk to him that much anymore because just how he was getting all teary-eyed about his ex and then how the relationship turned to sex and then how he acted like he was upset with me when a guy walked by and made a comment about me. So I'm like, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. This guy is just incredibly emotional and I'm not trying to deal with him flipping out on me. So uh, we parted ways. And then a couple of days later, like we didn't really talk, but I saw him online and he saw me online. So he sent me a message out of nowhere. 
his message said, uh, it wasn't, hey, how you been? What's going on? It was, you pissed me off when you waste my money like that. Apparently, I didn't eat like two little stuffed balls or something we had at this restaurant. They was like stuffed balls with like shrimp inside. I thought it was something else when I ordered it and I tasted and I didn't like it. So I didn't finish it. Apparently, that pissed him off that I didn't eat those two little stuffed balls. <laughs> so after two days of not hearing from him, he sent me a message out of nowhere saying, you pissed me off wasting my money like that. And I'm like, what a fucking psycho. I'm like, look, man, what's your cash app? You're freaking me out. Let me go ahead and give you your money back. Since it's that deep for you, shit. And he was like, no, don't even worry about it. Since I'm freaking you out, let me just leave you alone. Even better. Even better. The trash taking itself out. Bye, sir. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was like $17.99. Like, sir, let me give you your 20 bucks back. Trust me, I'm not hurting. But apparently you are. But uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you guys stay to the end. Um, if you stay to the end, put I missed you. I'm just trying to see something. I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to see who my diehards are who actually stay to the end of the video but i missed you <laughs> all right so i'm nutty nutty that's me please like thumbs up and subscribe if you would like talk to you guys later bye